Hi, I'm Melissa with Healthy Being by Melissa, and this is video part two of Senior Nutrition Tips. So if you didn't see the first video, I have a link down below. I hope you'll view it. And if you're just joining us, welcome. I presented recently to a senior care, uh, geriatric care managers meeting, and this was part of the discussion I had with them that I'm bringing to YouTube. And I'm continuing the discussion here, and one of the things that I want to talk to you today about is things to avoid when it comes to seniors' nutrition. And it's things that are to avoid in the diet. So a lot of seniors will have and buy low sugar, low fat products. And those actually are not great for them. There's many things that it does. It really messes with the hypothalamus in the brain that's then signaling satiation, satiated feeling, a feeling of being full. It messes with the metabolic process, and it can also uh, develop toxicity in the brain that then we see that in dementia cases. So if you are a senior or you are caregiving to a senior, this is a really great tip. Cut out all things that are unnatural. Cut out the low sugar, the low fat. You want a lot of good fats, and that's what I really want to talk to you today about. The fats that we want to focus on are the good mono and saturated fats. Those are fats that actually nourish the brain. They also have a good metabolic process, so they help the entire cellular metabolism process better. And you'll actually find that individuals feel better and have a lot of a greater mental alertness. I found that in the case of my grandma. If you're tuning in, I described that I was a caregiver for my grandmother for four and a half years in her mid to late 90s and she was this amazing woman and I got her a lot of fat in her diet. I incorporated avocado and I loved using coconut oil. I switched coconut oil with our baking goods and she just loved it and we found that it was a really good way for her to get some energy into her diet as well. One of the big things to focus on when we're looking at fats is a high caloric density diet. So a lot of times seniors will actually minimize the caloric intake, not for any other reason for dieting or anything like that, is sometimes they forget that they ate or they didn't eat. And sometimes they don't have that taste, which I keep referring to that. It's a huge factor. The fact that seniors lose taste bud sensation is a huge element when it comes to getting good nutrients because if you couldn't taste good quality food or flavors, do you think you'd eat it? No, no way. So the seniors don't, and that is a big factor. I also want to talk to you about getting cayenne and ginger into their diet. Those are two really great herbs that will help enhance their uh, taste, and it actually helps to enhance the feeling of uh, wanting to eat. And so while it doesn't necessarily invigorate the taste buds, but it does help to wake up the neurotransmitters in the brain, and they can taste that, and it's really good for them. Cayenne and ginger are both anti-inflammatories. So if these individuals are, or you, who might be at home watching this, if you're feeling inflamed, you have muscle and joint aches from rheumatoid arthritis or just regular osteoarthritis, ginger and cayenne are excellent for you to get into your diet. So those are two herbs, and I'm going to conclude this video with those two tips as well. But I hope you'll continue to tune in. I'm going to be adding another video to this mix to conclude my presentation that I gave to uh, some geriatric care managers, and I hope you'll log in and check out the, the links below and like this video. Thanks!